Things like furniture, lighting fixtures, plumbing fixtures, mechanical equipments, all of these are placed on Revit using components too. This is episode 18 of the Revit Beginner Program, and today we are going to talk about how to place components, level-based components and host-based components. What do they mean and how to place them? I'm going to work on this project today, where I already have a few walls and a few fall ceilings. Let's go into the ground floor level and try to place some furniture. I'll go into Architecture tab and Components too. The keyboard shortcut is CM. In the Properties palette here, we can see all the components family that are already loaded. I do not see any so far here, so let's go and load one. I'll go into the Furniture folder. Under Seating, I have a sofa that I would like to use. Let's open that up. Now, I'm able to place it. If the tool is not active, you may go back to Components and choose the correct sofa type that you would like to place. Let's place it somewhere around here. You may use one of these modify tools like Move, Align, Rotate to reposition the sofa. You may also use any of these temporary dimensions. For example, I'd like to make it exactly one meter here. Or you can use permanent dimensions to position your sofa exactly at the value that you would like. Let's create another sofa by going into Components. I'm going to press spacebar this time to flip the orientation of the sofa. Let's go and use Align tool to align the two sofas. The sofa family that we are using are level-based family, which means they are automatically constrained to the level that we are placing them on. Currently, they are placed on ground floor level, so they are constrained to a ground floor level. If I change this value to first floor, this has moved to first floor. Let's go to 3D View to go and check it. So one of the sofas is on first floor and the other is on the ground. So there are level-based families which can be placed anywhere on the level. On the other hand, there are also some host-based families. Let's try to load one. I'm going to insert and load family. Let's try to load a plumbing fixture. Go into architectural fixtures water closets. I'm going to use this wall-based family, which means it requires a wall in order to be positioned. So host of this particular component is a wall. Let's go to components tool and try to place this particular water closet in our toilet area. As soon as I go near a wall, it allows me to place it. If I'm not near a wall, it says that I cannot place this particular component because it's a host-based family. A host based family can move along the host, but if you would like to change its host from one wall onto the other, you must select this and use Pick New Host option. Select a new host to reposition it. Let's try that again with a ceiling based family. I'm going into my ceiling plan where I already have created a false ceiling. Let's go to Insert, Load Family, and I'm going to use a lighting fixture this time. Let's go to the Lighting folder, Architectural, Internal Lighting. I'm going to use a ceiling-based family. Now here in your default library, you may find a few wall lamps, which are wall-based families. Table lamp, for example, this is a level-based family, which can be placed anywhere on the level. I'm going to use a ceiling-based family. Let's go to the Components tool. Now you can see here that the ceiling light it's not allowing me to place it anywhere except when I go near a false ceiling. Let's go and click here. I can use spacebar to flip the orientation of my component. Let's go to 3D view to check it. There we have our lighting fixture. If I would like to change its host from this ceiling onto this ceiling, I must select this lighting fixture and use Pick New Host to reposition this on a new host. So there are level-based families which can be placed anywhere on the level, and there are host-based families which require a host, like wall, floor, a fall ceiling, and so on. So host-based families can only be placed when they come near to that particular host. 
If you would like to try an exercise of placing components in your project, you may try to follow my website learningrevitonline.com and try to follow this tutorial. I'm going to give you this link in the description box. You may also download the sample project file and the families that I was working on in my video. You may follow along the steps available here to place a level-based component or a host-based component. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to place structural columns in your project. So please subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next.